We're happy to welcome to uh, Dairy Business Update today uh, two folks who represent AHV International, a Dutch company that's bringing some exciting new technology uh, to U.S. dairy herds uh, in the medical field. Uh, we have with us Laura Pierce, who's Marketing Director for USA. Welcome, Laura. And we have Michael Cardoso, a uh, former manager of a large dairy here in California, who's now based in Turlock, California. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thanks. Michael, give us a quick overview, if you would, to get us started of the products that AHB is bringing to U.S. dairy producers. So we are definitely bringing new product and innovation to the United States. Uh, our product lineup allows dairymen to make proactive decisions and empower the animal's immune system during key periods of stress in the animal's life. Uh, our product lineup uh, is catered to calf health, uh, utter health, and reproduction. Laura, in your uh, product announcement that we received that kind of triggered this conversation, you use a term quorum sensing. Now, I lead a sheltered life. I'm not in the scientific community. That was a new term to me. Help us understand how these products uh, incorporate this, this concept of quorum sensing. Yeah, as you would imagine, most people aren't familiar yet with the term quorum sensing, but essentially it's really describing the highly advanced biochemical communication system of bacteria. And a lot of this has come about from work out of Princeton University by microbiologist Bonnie Bassler. She has a really fascinating TED talk she came out with in 2009 that really describes this advanced communication system and how it enables bacteria to identify themselves by their species, replicate, and then kind of know when they've got a big enough force to launch an attack on their host, whether it's a human or, or an animal. And then the other fascinating feature about quorum sensing is it's how bacteria develop their defense system um, known as biofilm. So it's really exciting cutting edge research. And it's really teaching us new ways that we can fight bacteria by really disrupting this communication system. So if you think about right any type of, of army, or I know I like to think about it in terms of a space movie, right? All this advanced communication system is telling right that army when to leave the ship and attack, when to retreat back to the ship. And then right, you would hear the captain say, turn on the shields, right, or the force field. So I kind of like to think of that as the biofilm, like they're retreating, they're putting up this force field of defense and the immune system really has a hard time penetrating that and so do our most antibiotics today. Michael, um, this products, uh, when they're administered, don't require withdrawal of, of milk or meat. Uh, tell me at the farm level, uh, how are these products administered? Uh, how much is required? How does it work on the dairy? Yeah, so I was able to use these products and get really familiar with them, and, and hence why I, I decided to join AHV. Um, they're all administered or oral. So in the CAF program, we're applying a, a small dosage for a small period of time uh, to prevent stress, and then that stress does not lead into scours. Um, for mastitis and somatic cell management, it's all oral. Um, we're, we're applying boluses, um, to cater, to support that immune system and really drive that cow to fight that bacteria. Uh, and also in reproduction, when, when we're dealing with RPs and metritis on farm, uh, we're, we're applying a bolus. We no longer need halters and needles to really uh, give that cow a fighting chance. And um, it allowed me as a dairy producer and a manager to make quick decisions in management, to not be married to poor decisions based on employee error, and really lead in a high ROI. And these products have been used for a while in Europe. Uh, Laura, just tell us about uh, how the company was founded in Holland, I guess, by a Dutch veterinarian. And um, what, what's happened in Europe? What's the, uh, what's the success there? Yeah, so a Dutch veterinarian that um, studied microbiology got really excited by this quorum sensing science, right? It makes a lot of sense to try to fight 
bacteria by disrupting their communication and allowing the animal's immune system to have a better fighting chance. So he started working on products that could attack quorum sensing, inhibit the communication. And so I think the company was officially started in 2014 in the Netherlands. Um, the acceptance there has been quite successful and that's a, a tough group. But so today, fast forward to 2021, um, it's an international company. They serve 6,500 dairy farmers around the world. And we're just now getting to the US where I'm really excited to bring these tools and technologies to our farmers and help them and support their animals in a more natural way. As a US dairy producer, uh, is there a website? How can I find out more about the, about the uh, products? Yeah, so today we have nine products registered in the US with the FDA, and we have a few more that we anticipate getting soon, but you can visit www.ahvint.com, and you should be able to filter to the US specific site or just put slash US, um, and that'll bring up the information that we have currently. And we're excited, as I said, to quickly add new solutions in the next few weeks. Michael, you're based here in the West. Uh, if I'm a producer in the in Wisconsin or the Northeast, uh, do I reach out to you? How how do I uh, get some direct contact here with the opportunity to use this products? Yeah, uh, go ahead and you can visit our website. Uh, reach out to me, and we'll definitely uh, coordinate with our team to find a a local advisor to help solve those solutions. I really appreciate you bringing this uh, new insight, uh, this new technology, and we'll watch for this uh, quorum sensing uh, activity. Uh, anything to do with health uh, in this age of COVID seems to create a bit more interest, but uh, th these products sound pretty intriguing. Thanks, Joel. We really appreciate the time to share a little bit with you today. Yes, thank you, Laura. So thank you, Michael. Thank you. And this is Joel Hastings speaking for Dairy Business Update at dairybusiness.com.